Meet the vagus nerve, the superhighway between your brain and body. It actually has two branches and they do opposite jobs. The ventral vagus is the upper branch, this dotted line going to the watchtower. It's your social engagement system. Facial expression, voice tone, presence, reading social and safety cues, calming the heart, and keeping the lights on in the Mohawk of self-awareness. This branch says it's safe enough to connect. The dorsal vagus is the lower branch. It slows everything down, lowers energy, numbs sensations, and protects you when escape is impossible by collapsing the system. This branch says, we're overwhelmed, shut it down. So when the ventral is online, your whole body shifts toward connection. Now add oxytocin, your social emotional memory. The ventral creates connection. Oxytocin remembers it. Put the two together and your brain learns how to recognize connection, not just feel it in the moment. Now that you know the players, let me show you the safety hierarchy that existed all the way back in primitive times and still works the same in our systems to this very day. We're going to go top, middle, bottom. One, two, three, ready? So when faced with a threat, one, top, the ventral, call for help. Two, middle, no help, fight or flight. Yesterday's lesson, the sympathetic nerve, mobilization kicks in. Three, bottom, no escape, shutdown time. The dorsal is protecting you by dropping you into freeze, collapse, numbness. Now here's the twist. If connection wasn't safe for you growing up, instead of going from ventral, sympathetic, dorsal, your body only jumps from sympathetic to dorsal. Meaning, connection isn't an option. The watchtower doesn't get safety signals. Oxytocin gets contaminated by cortisol. Social cues feel like a threat. Freeze happens suddenly and safety feels unfamiliar or confusing. And it's not your fault. Your body adapted to its environment. Tomorrow, we'll see how your brain balances all of this with circuits and chemistry working together.